Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten done dealing with the Dalish Elves' problem with the werewolf curse, which was caused by their leader, Zathrian, who gave his life to break the curse. So that is good. The Dalish will now help us in our fight against the Darkspawn. But we got level ups, and it's time to situate those. Wahoo. Um, Arcane Warrior. Uh, so I can go into specializations. Currently, Morrigan is in Shapeshifter. Blur, 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 blur. But I could have her go into arcane warrior which would be one dexterity and five attack versus two constitution and one armor not necessarily what i want to do but it's an option i have available to me and do other mages as well so that's a thing i can do um for right now though uh what i think i'm gonna do with her is bring up her her willpower, maybe? No. No. Maybe, but no. Not right now. Hmm. Cunning, maybe. A little bit into cunning. And then one into willpower. That'll work. I think that'll be a good use of my time. Um, herbalism. Let's bring her up to expert. That'd be good. And me. What shall... Or rather, magic. What shall we do with magic? That's what my brain was trying to do. But wouldn't let me say. Um, rejuvenate. That would be very useful. That would be very useful. Yeah, I don't see why not. Be a little outside of her normal wheelhouse, but my game, I can do what I want. I forgot that uh, Liliana and uh, Shale are still grievously injured, as opposed to the rest of the team. But we'll work on that eventually. Um, willpower. Obviously, we're going to put a little more into that, because she desperately needs it. And strength. Mm -hmm. her strength is already pretty high up and it's not like she's lacking for any for any uh, equipment because she doesn't take that much equipment um, the sounds in the ears in the background is definitely weird um hmm What, what? I guess I'll just put more into willpower. Sure. Fine. Whatever. Um, hmm. Regenerating burst. And this is with defensive talents. Okay. Explodes with energy, damaging all nearby enemies who are also stunned unless they pass a physical resistance check, in which case they are merely knocked out. After learning this talent, Shale gains a bonus to stamina regeneration whenever Stoneheart is active. The other bonuses of that mode increase, and nearby enemies are even more likely to choose Shale as their target. Interesting. But that would then mean I need to... do this all over again, and put Constitution as 35... Because she's going to need all the health she can get. And with regeneration, won't necessarily need the stamina all that badly. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm right. If not, next level up will go straight into willpower. So, either or, we have a plan. Anyway, um, skills I have. Hmm. 
should go into coercion the next time I do anything. That is for sure. All right. Alrighty then. So, next thing I do... Kamen. Do I talk to Kamen? Now that the forest is clear, I am free to hunt a pelt of my own. Then Gaina will be mine. Cool. Have fun with that. Should I talk to Gaina? We owe you thanks for all you've done. Without you, our clan would be grieving the loss of many more hunters now. Cool. You're welcome. Well, I guess that pretty much clears up everything I needed to do here. I guess. Maybe. Hmm. Well, yeah, that, that kind of does. Okay, so. Missions. Missions, missions, missions. Blackstone Irregulars. Alright. The Dereliction of Duty. Uh, Tornas was in the Frostback Mountains. Hmm. I grease the wheels. Huh. Okay. Mages Collective. Justice must be served. Huh. Deliver the Lyrium Potions to Knight Commander Harith, or... Bring them to... Oh, my headset's telling me the battery's low. Uh, or bring them to Knight Commander Tavish in Denerim. Hmm. Interesting. Herbal magic. I still need to do that. Uh, scrolls of Bannistor. Still need to do that. And places of power. Uh, mark as an active quest, I guess. Simply due to the fact... I kind of want to know what will happen there. I'm sure there's something going on with... Mitha. I understand we will be joining you in battle as soon as the hunters have recovered. I look forward to it. Good. Good to hear. Uh, I guess we'll look Would into it by... Which consider explaining the nature of magic to me? I am most curious. Okay. Surely there is another who would not be so bothered by your tiresome questions. Perhaps Alistair? I fear the second warden has not the knowledge to answer my question. You might ask him anyhow. Certainly whatever he happened to come up with would serve as amusement. I do not understand. I seek enlightenment and not amusement. You're apt to get much further seeking amusement, I assure you. The Swamp Witch is a most confusing creature. I do not understand it. <laughs> You're not the first one to say so. The first golem, perhaps. I will ask the Swamp Witch later, when it is less inclined to make bizarre responses to my queries. You will be waiting some time then, I fear. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Gather the party and venture forth. Oh yeah, Lothring is dead. Deader than shit. Hmm. Oh, Stigar and the Cathar... Cor... Carsi. Fuck, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, <laughs> screw it. I don't know. Uh, Refugees, Battlefield, Denerim. Could go there. Um, do need to go to the Brazilian Forest more. Hmm. Or I could go to the party camp. Party camp. Light, how will you end it? Oh. We have to fight the Archdemon. Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Oh, what have you heard? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. What, you think you could do better? Yes. <laughs> and he approves of that. Okay. He approves of me admitting that I might not know what I'm doing, and yet he might know better. Alright. Levy 
Dryden. You're new. You're a hard man to find. Am I? My manners. The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Yeah. Did Duncan ever mention okay. me? Levy of the coins. Levy the trader. Oh. Dryden's a black name. Your family lost its lands and titles. But Tan Kuzlin's son should be well aware that in politics things are seldom as they seem. True. Say what you will of my family. We are ardent warden supporters and have been since the beginning. But okay. here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. Fair enough. You see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the wardens. And for me. Okay. Poor Duncan's. Well, no more. Yeah. A tragedy it is at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. Mm -hmm. His pledge fulfilled. Right. Well, what promise did Duncan make to you? Well, as you know, my family's name is Mud around noble circles. Yeah. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens oh. were known as freeloaders. Oh. So King Olin banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. It's a bit drastic, isn't it? And then some. Not much is known about that time. After mm. King Arlen died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. Yeah. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Fair enough. I'm surprised you kept your name. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. Okay. So what favor did you ask of Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. That's perfectly fair. I don't see why I shouldn't do that. But couldn't you just go there by yourself? Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. Oh. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. Why didn't he help you then? Darkspawn surfaced in southern Ferelden. And Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Oh. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never had the chance. I see. So the timing was terrible. Just fucking atrocious, is what you're saying. It was going to be right after the big battle that we then got screwed over at. Okay. I think I understand. And it was... understandable that you still wanted to get it done. Uh, how will reclaiming the peak help the Wardens? Soldiers peak a strategic and symbolic importance. Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. Hmm. We also hoped to recover lost Warden history and perhaps a few old relics. No one knows what's up there now. That's enough for me. Yeah. Your family's faith will be rewarded. I will help you. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Cool. Awesome. Thank you very much. Sophia Dryden. Well, I need to talk to Bodan, Fedek, and Sandal. We, I sure talked about I him recently. I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps. A cheese knife? A cheese knife. Okay. Well, uh, let me see your wares for right now. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Well, I mean, discounts are nice. Whoa, that thing is a lot of money. Holy shiza. Well, it makes sense, considering, um, you know. The fact it is dragon bone that would you know cause the price to increase quite a bit 
Although, while this is made of dragon thorn, it doesn't seem to be able to be sold for that much. Weird. Uh, let's sell all junk, just to get that out of the way. Um, you have a conspirator's foil that I already have in the inventory. Actually, I have equipped on someone right now. Weird. Um, compare to what we already have on Liliana, and it's the exact same. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Ember, Hailstone, Iron, Ring. Okay. I could use some injury kits. I have a lot of need of these. <laughs> and I have decent amount of money to spare for that. A Tome of Arcane Technique. One point to spend on a talent or skill, but it is rendered useless afterwards. And a Tome of Physical Technique. This seems very useful. Hmm. Very useful indeed. Alright. Um, my headset's going to die, is what I'm learning right now. It keeps telling me battery low. Uh, so I'll have to make this quick. Uh, about as quick as I can manage. Uh, is there any sort of storage that I can throw my stuff into? It would be nice to do that. Allied supply crates. A communal box for the resources you have collected for your troops. Turn in crafting materials for the Dalish. Uh, oh. Huh. Okay. That would get them out of my inventory, but... Hmm. Don't know if that's something that I should be doing right now. Emissary Karen. You witnessed the rarest of things, Warden. The Dalish stand ready to defend Ferelden. Do you need anything? We have assembled on a short schedule. Certain factors of equipment could be better. Crafting components would serve best. Basic ones like elf root and deep mushroom. Hmm. Okay. Then turn in elf roots. Cool. Generous as always, Warden. Well, I try. Okay. Well, now that I'm in our little camp, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I honestly don't know what else to do. And my headset's going to die. So it's already a mess and a half of things. <laughs> what should I do? Well, one thing I can do probably should is uh not be equipped with this wolf killer interesting uh i'll give that to leliana since she is definitely going to need it more um uh, maybe i'll give her the fire arrows too oops that wasn't what i meant to do Elf flight arrows. I'll eh, just give her the... No. Fire arrows for the other one. And then... God. Damn it. There. That. There we go. That'll work. Longbow. Otherwise can be sold. So I'll move that to junk. And... Oh, yeah, I can equip everyone since I'm in camp. That's right. That's right. I can do that. I can do that. Family sword. And then the shield. Since I can't do the metal kite shield. Since that will probably be Alistair. No, it will not. 
balls. What's he missing? 32 strength! God. Duck. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, no. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, he has several level ups we can give him. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Templar. Um... Bring him up a little bit in that regard, and then go to willpower to up that. Um, hmm. Friendly fire possible. That would suck. Huh. Mm, no. No. Weapon and shield for sure. Compensate for the weight of a shield in combat and no longer suffers an attack penalty while using shield defense. That would be nice. Alright. Um, oh, so he won't level up past that. That sucks. Guess I gotta bring him along more. Hmm. Well, Piff Wool. I don't remember Piff having that many attribute points. Jeez. Alright. Um... Do that, I guess. And we'll bring that up to eight. Yeah, that'll work. A dog. Dog things. Um, my headset keeps telling me the battery's low. Ah, boy. What should I make the doggo learn? Doggo's already learned Growl and Fortitude. Hmm. Piff. Piff, piff, piff. What should I teach you? I don't know. Precise striking, why not? Um. Sten, let's look at what you can learn. You would be a big strong boy. So let's bring you to 32. Oh. You got six as well. Why did you get six as well? That's weird. Um, Constitution. Let's up that a little bit too. Uh, <laughs> I guess that a little bit. You get a skill. That's nice. Um, yeah, let's up your combat tactics. Why not? And you would be two-handed. Yes. Um, shattering blows. A large damage bonus against golems and other constructs. Huh. That could be useful. The character's fondness for massive two-handed weapons means that each attack offers a chance to stun the opponent due to the sheer weight behind the blow. That would be nice. And he has another point to spend. Oh, that's wonderful. Might as well do it in the Shattering Blows thing. But, let me see what else I can do. Bravery. Bonuses to damage, physical resistance, and mental resistance, as well as a bonus to critical chance... That increases proportionally to the number of enemies above two that the warrior is engaging. That would also be nice. Alright. Uh, Zevran. That's the only other one we got. Okay. Um, oh. Zevran can specialize in Bard and Assassin. Interesting. Cool. All right, so he only has one level up worth of attribute points. Uh, dexterity? No. No, he'll need to up strength eventually, which I guess we can do a little bit now. And I guess, yeah, we'll up that a little bit too. And of course we're going to go into poison making, because that is his thing. He is the assassin after all. Um, hmm. Deft hands. 
Yeah. Combat movement. Mm. No. There. That'll work. Okay. Now, equipment wise. Ow. Oh, didn't realize I had him equipped with all of that. Well, I feel like an idiot. Because <laughs> I could have easily equipped him with some better stuff. But I didn't do that. Oops. Um, we'll equip him with that there for sure. Um, even longbow. We'll absolutely move that to junk for sure. Uh, hmm. I was really hoping to give him a better shield. But that is just not in the cards right now. Unfortunately. Uh, helm, though. I guess I could give him the helmet. Yeah, there you go. That'll work. Yeah. That'll work just fine. Wish I could give him something else other than splint mail. But it is what it is. Yeah, that won't, that won't be too bad. Thank you, headset, for reminding me again the battery's low. Um... Anything else? He has a mud idol. It's for cold resistance. This is for spell resistance. Runic worry totem. Oh. Token, rather. Uh, that's restric restricted to Alistair already. Probably for the best to give him that, since he is, you know, a Templar. He's supposed to be against magic. Nine times out of ten. Uh, we'll actually bring him along next place we go. I think. That's going to be my idea. Um, steel spiked collar. Adds to armor penetration and armor. Whereas the studded braid only adds to constitution. So we'll equip him with this. Yeah, there we go. And we'll toss that since we don't need it anymore. Um, Sten. Sten, Sten, Sten. Might as well give him that. I don't see why not. Um, Heavy Chainmail. He is pretty well set up in that, similar to what I have. Um, hmm. He, <laughs> he could have the Kite Shield. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> he can wield the kite shield because he has the strength for it. Oh, boy. Oh, that's hilarious. If only, if only I could put that on me. But no, no. Let me see this again. Melee critical chance plus 10 to healing effects received. Yeah, I'm going to need that more. <laughs> I'm going to need that more. For sure. Uh, I wish I could do something about the sword, though. One tactic slot acquired, I know. Are you sure I can't yeah, be in this hat? Yes. A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? Yes, yes, yes. You can't interest me in that. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I will. Uh, what have I sold into junk from you. Splint mail. I could buy that back. I should buy this back. Red cliff shield. I definitely should buy that back. Um, Silver ring was not great. Nothing I needed anyway. Um, the dagger might be good. Dagger might be good. Uh, okay. The small... Dark spawn shield compared to what Alistair currently has. It's not good enough. The shield of High Ever does have additional points to attack, but it is not good enough. Maybe the Red Cliff shield. Um. Ah, shit. 
Red Cliff Shield needs 32 strength as well. Oh, come on. Come on. It's always got to be something, huh? All right. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess I can sell that back for the same amount I just bought it for. So there's that. Um, compare. Nope, that's nothing. Um, Liliana. Her bow is better. This is better than what I equipped Zevran with. So that'll work. We'll sell this and this for sure. And I will fix... That was not the button I wanted to have pressed. There, game. Alright, uh... We'll remove from junk, remove from junk, remove from junk. And then give him the bow. Swap back to this. Crow Dagger does have additional backstab damage. That would be nice. But we'll just give him the dagger for now. Hmm. Ha. Huh. Actually, the longsword would be better. Shit. Okay, we'll just move that back. <laughs> we'll move that also to there. Uh, splint mail was Alistair. That's right. I remember now. And the boots were stronger. So there we go. And we can sell that. Booyah. Um, shield dwarven armor. That's right. That's right. I remember now. It was spell resistance and constitution. That would be a lot of armor and fatigue to put on Zevran. <sighs> mm. And we'll have to go through this again. There we go. All right. Um, we'll sell that, that, and that. That'll be good enough, I think. <sighs> oh boy. Long Bowman's belt. What the hell is that for? Ranged critical chance. Oh, that makes sense. Dwarven merchant's belt. Increases monetary gain. That'd be nice. Hmm. Sylvan's Mercy and Earthheart's Portable Bulwark. But it also requires a fuck ton of strength. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Ah, boy. This is going to be the equipment event adventures at this rate. Jesus. Enchantment? Uh, yeah. Let's look at some enchantment. 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 Okay. Uh, let's go with, hmm, go with electricity, yeah, sure, yeah, there we go, back, and put the frost rune on that, yeah, sure. And I can remove the rune after I get bored with it, right? I can do that. Right? I think I can. I don't see why not. I keep hitting wrong buttons. Oh boy. Let's switch back to this. There we go. Alright. Um. Nice. It's nice. Nice to see that. 
All right. Okay. Um. Hmm. Why is acid flask in gray? Oh, it requires poison making. That makes sense. Um. Hmm. Lyrium potions. I needed to bring ten to that one thing. Currently, I only have five now. Okay. Well, you know what? My headset's about to die for my ability to hear, so that would make it difficult to converse with all of my party members. So we're going to make this episode short. We're going to call it the inventory episode, because that's basically all I fucking did this episode. I do apologize for that, but uh, at least gives you guys insight into what I mentally think. And uh, could give you ways to tell me to fuck off. I'm stupid. <laughs> if you wanted to. I mean, I'm not going to tell you you should. But if you know better, please tell me. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I never know what I'm doing. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Anyway. I'm going to end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so you can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to figure out my inventory. And trying to reduce its number. And I feel like I only just made it worse. Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but then again I never know what I'm doing. I just went over this. So, uh, here's hoping eventually I'll get it sorted out. Maybe. Probably not. But maybe. For you.